Finally, no more election to worry about. I can focus on playing city skylines. Sleepy Joe, what the fuck? No, 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 you can't do this, I need you. I just got 25,000 Let's Go Brandon t-shirts printed. Hell yeah, Joe, nice to see you back playing CS1. Let's fucking go. Don't worry, Donald, you'll still be able to lose to me in Fortnite. Crap, I missed. Let me all tab back into CS1. I've missed this build so much. Sleepy Joe, you always miss. Some things never change. Joe, Donald, you guys sound really weird, like you're not yourselves. Are you all okay? Yeah, Barack, it's just a little cold, I'll be fine. Now that I don't have re-election to worry about, I can finally play with unlimited money. Time to delete all the abandoned buildings and build back better. Joe, what are you doing? I thought you only played vanilla. It's okay, Barack. I helped him download some new mods on the Steam Workshop. Gotta keep him occupied so he doesn't get too coconut-pilled and screw up my chances. Maya, I don't know how many times I need to say this. We all know you're not Kamala Harris. Time for Dark Brandon. Imagine a Walmart here. Now that it's my brat summer, I can build the ideal city. Oh my god, guys, I'm so fucking parking lot pill right now. Now. And what about a Dave and Buster's here? That would be so skibidi. I'm tired of being cucked by big transit. Let's delete this goofy ass monorail. It's strode maxing time. I'm so jelked out right now. That's right, Joe. Strode max and jelk your city's roads all you want. Keep that context flowing, Mr. President. Oh my God, Sleepy Joe, you went and did it again. You flooded your whole ass city. Typical Democrat shit. It's okay, Donald. I've got all the time in the world now. Why don't you and Kamala go back to work? You can join our former president's Discord chat again in November when she wins. The power is in your hands. The idea of America lies in your hands. We just have to keep faith, keep the faith. And remember who we are, we're the United States of America. And there's simply nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together. So let's act together, preserve our democracy. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Okay, I'm finally done with that boring ass speech. It's city's time. Wait, why is it still loading? I told Booty Gag get this thing booted up for me an hour ago. Sleepy Joe, I told you that kid was useless. If I was your transportation secretary, city skylines would load up in 30 seconds, even with thousands of mods and assets. Oh, fuck yeah. One term presidents only Discord chat. Glad to see you join the club, Joey. One term? Shut up, Jimmy. Nobody likes you. I didn't even know you knew how to turn on a computer. Don will be nice to James. If Kamala doesn't wipe the floor with you, he's our guy for 2028. Cool it on the politics and focus on the city's boys. Oh, hey, Zuck, I'm just working on fixing the Rust Belt right now. Full scale Earth urban renewal. Nothing says America like a 16-lane arterial boulevard through the heart of the old city. I feel just like Robert Moses. And to bring back those high-paying industrial jobs, I got Don Wood Jin Long to build a factory here. Joe, you can't just build a factory without any resources to support it. It's useless in game. God damn it, Sleepy Joe. Stop with the one more lane in glycine jokes. They're not funny anymore. This is worse than Pokemon Go to the Polls. Yeah, Joe, even I know those memes are kind of cringy now. It's okay, Donald. I know how to stay relevant. Remember the Kamala Harris Memorial Prison? Excuse me, Joe? The what Memorial Prison? Well, I've been super inspired by her social media presence. So in Kamala's honor, we're making it brag coded now. Joe, for the good of the country and for the good of our party, please do not. What did JD do to that couch, Donald? I need you to be so for real with me right now, bestie. Look, as long as it was made in America, what happens between a man and his furniture is his own business. All right, bet. But what about the dolphin, Donald? It was in his search history. Joe, leave it alone. Don't act like you never showed me the folder full of weird-ass train pictures on your hard drive. Hey, that was just for research purposes. Anyways, guys, I'm tired of this freeway cutting my city in half. I think I'm going to tear it down. Not going to lie. Freeway removal's pretty base, Joe. Uh, based on what? This is not based. It's incredibly cringe. Don't listen to him, Sleepy Joe. You don't want to be a transit cut nerd, do you? This is so not Build Back Better. I just feel like I've gotten so much better at city skylines lately. I want to make this freeway make sense instead of just a jumbled mess of spaghetti. I'm loving the parallel road tool mod and these more realistic looking highway assets Kamala helped me download. It really takes this game to the next level. I gotta say, I'm enjoying my retirement. Joe, you pronounced your name wrong, but it's okay. You tried your best. I'm just glad you're coherent enough to step down. You guys are both idiots. It's Kamala. At least I mispronounced it on purpose to scare my supporters. Joe, don't remove the train line, public transit is important. Nah, Barack, that comment about my special train folder was uncalled for. I can't even look at this anymore. Time to be freeway pilled instead. Sleepy Joe, what the fuck are you doing? You can't build that across an active runway. It's okay, Donald. There's a dedicated exit straight to the airport. This will work much better, trust me. And roundabouts are too European. We need to make this city more American. Oh, hey, that's my old house. Can't wait to move back in soon. I like the coconut trees. I can't wait to show this to Kamala. She's going to be so excited. And don't forget to salute the flag, Donald. Sleepy Joe, please come back. I need you. You can't make me debate her. This isn't fair. Please, don't make me do this. Sorry, Donald. You're on your own now. If you can't handle me in my six handicap golf game era, you don't deserve me in my dank city skylines YouTuber era. Joe, no, why are you deleting every building in your city. If you're going to do that, why not just start over from scratch? Don't give this quitter any more ideas, Barack. Stay in the game, Joe. Keep going. Don't give up, buddy. Cities don't just fall out of coconut trees. You should know that, Barack. They exist in the context of all in which we live and what came before. They are ever-changing, dynamic places where nothing stays the same. Every piece of a city, from the roads that crisscross its land to the buildings that populate its cityscape to the demographics of the people who call it home, are in constant flux. Even old New York was once New Amsterdam. What the fuck is blood yapping about? Why wasn't he this coherent during the debate? We're dealing with the passage of time here. 
and it's time for some gentrification, baby. Oh, hell yeah, Joe. We love to see it. Kick out those pores and bring in some paying customers. Joe, I understand it's just a video game, but you really should consider the impact your choices are going to have on your population. With all those luxury apartments, where is everyone else going to live? It's okay, Barack. We've got jobs for them. Starbucks for the alt girls with septum rings and Chipotle for the dudes who comment. Just put my fries in the bag, bro, on every video that comes on their for you page. Sleepy Joe, do you even know how to use TikTok or Instagram Reels? Nah, I'm more of a YouTube shorts guy. Anyways, I found a place for all the people I evicted to live. What do you think? Yo, that's not funny. Even in a video game, it's in poor taste. The cost of living is at an all-time high under your administration. Delete it, bro. Or I'll tell Kamala about your train fold. Shut up, Barack. It's my city and I'll do what I want. No step on snake. No step on snake. Hell yeah, buddy. By the way, I'm thinking about letting JD go. Do you want the job as my number two? Yo, do not take him up on that. Remember what happened to Mike Pence. Hey, fellow voters. It's your friends over at the Blue Party. Word on these streets is that you may not be entirely satisfied with your current choices for president. Want someone young and exciting with more vitality? Don't worry. We've heard you loud and clear. Our political scientists have been hard at work generating the cutting edge and fresh faces for you. We are proud to announce the first ever AI-powered candidate for the highest office in the land. Introducing Harold Harry Benson. Unlike these old fogies that used to run, Harry was programmed to be a spry 74 years old, practically a baby. He knows what'll get the youth of America to hawk to to the polls and vote on that thang. Thanks, Jack. From the great Rizzlers jelking in Ohio to the pavement princesses of Texas mogging the transit cucked masses yearning to be free in California, we are united as one nation. What about universal health care, you ask? Why not instead think of America's hard-working insurance executives? You don't want to hurt their feelings, do you? A series of events are unfolding in the middle East, but as an artificial intelligence model, I don't have personal opinions, emotions, or biases, so we'll just ignore that for now. Reproductive rights are under attack. We all know this. That's why my promise to you is to nicely ask the other side to slow down a little bit. Compromise. It's what makes America great. But rest assured, I will always fight for you. Average American voter. That's why my proposal is to require all speeches made by myself and other public officials come with a built-in subway surfer insert at the bottom to help you lock in. To the 15 undecided voters in Pennsylvania, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Michigan, your vote matters to me. But to the rest of y'all who I don't give a fuck about, just remember, at least I'm not the other guy. Don't ever carry as a personal burden your capacity to do whatever you dream and aspire to do based on other people's limited ability to see who can do what. This is part of what's involved, is that we have to know that sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open, sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that fucking door down. <laughs> Excuse my language. Knock, knock. It's Sleepy Joe, and it's time to open the city's fucking doors. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Joe, stop taking my words out of context. Go back to playing your little city game with your bros. Joe, you have so much empty land. Do you really need to buy those tiles? For too long, I've been kept down by those who wish to hold girls like me back from my dreams, and I dream of coquette multi-level stack interchange. Sleepy Joe, that was the most incoherent thing I've ever heard, even coming from you. As city planners, it is our job to visualize a built environment that encourages the behaviors we wish to see and discourages those that are undesirable. Now hold up, gang. Joe's spitting straight facts right now. I think it's best we listen. We plan our new neighborhoods using road hierarchy. First comes the arterial roads, which help funnel commuters to the highways and into the job centers. Calm down, Joe. I didn't order a yappuccino. Collector roads are moderate capacity and cover a shorter distance than arterials, bringing people into their local area, serving as a buffer between high-speed arterials and quiet residential streets. Nobody cares, Joe. Somebody tell Kamala to stop giving this guy monster energy drinks at bedtime. In planning local streets, we seek to reduce the incentive for regional traffic to use residential areas as a cut-through. We do this by avoiding four-way intersections, except where collectors or arterials intersect. Joe, you're creating suburban sprawl. You've sacrificed the walkability of your city for the quick movement of cars. Maybe you should tone it down a bit and build some pedestrian paths or bike lanes. Shut up, Barack. Walkable cities are for cringe betas. Base petro chads like me and Joe don't want it. To encourage traditional nuclear families, we locate an elementary school at the heart of the neighborhood surrounded by homes. Shopping districts are built at busy intersections to take advantage of the high volume of traffic. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Don't build walls. You've turned what could be a three-minute walk to Panda Express into a 15-minute drive. That's the point, Barack. They don't call them 15-minute cities for nothing. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context you exist in the context you exist in the context 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 context